Welcome, Wendy. Thank you for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what your company is and what you guys do and how you help entrepreneurs? Yeah, so I am the CEO and founder of Rock Solid Administration. We are a boutique virtual assistant agency, and we help promote, scale, and organize um, people and their brands for entrepreneurs and small businesses. So we do social media implementation, um, uh, administrative tasks, technical support, and some copywriting. Awesome. So how has the current situation affected you so far? Um, we've seen a bit of upswing and a bit of downswing at the same time. Um, a lot of our clients have had uh, the, the current situation affect them, which then in turn has affected us a little bit. So for a little while, we were super busy trying to get everybody's um, offerings online, and now it's kind of slowed down a bit. Uh, so other than that, it actually hasn't affected my life a whole lot because I've always worked from home. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm lucky that way. Yeah, for sure. Um, so obviously, in a business like yours, you specialize in working from home, uh, as well as most of your team, I, I would assume. What advice do you have for staying focused while working at home and avoiding distractions? So that that's hard. The, the issue with working from home is that there's more distractions than there are at work because you have the dishes that are on the counter when you walk by to get a drink and there's the laundry that you could run down and put in really quick. So um, I've always just treated it like a regular work day. I get up, I get dressed, I'm never in pajamas. Um, I do my, my hair and makeup uh, and I sit at my computer and I schedule out my day in blocks. So, you know, first thing in the morning, I check my emails. Um, and I spend an hour doing emails and responding to emails. And then from there, I plan out the rest of the day based on the tasks that I've found in my emails. Um, so yeah, for, for us, it's a lot of uh, blocking things off, calendaring things, having even in there, if you know that at a specific time of day, you get a little bit antsy, having that in your calendar to get up and walk around and have a drink or even go outside for a walk. And also just having grace for yourself because we all get distracted even at work. Um, so getting distracted at home isn't the end of the world. Just knowing how to get yourself back on track after you've been distracted. Do you ever have trouble uh, staying motivated while you're working from home? <laughs> um, there are days where it's tough. Um, the motivation for me comes from that I really like what I do. Uh, so it's, it's not hard to keep doing it. In fact, sometimes the motivation is more getting off the computer than getting on it. Um, but there are days where it's just like, oh, I just don't want to today. And those are the days where I just kind of do the minimum and know that I need to do a little bit more self-care that day, a little bit more reflection, a little bit more introspection on why, right? Mm -hmm. So what advice do you have? Because a lot of entrepreneurs now are working at home while they have kids at home. And um, I'm sure for a lot of people, they've never had to do that before. <laughs> what advice do you have for working while you have kids around? Because how many kids do you have? Um, I have two and my partner has two. So um, every other week I have four at home. <laughs> <That's> a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. And <laughs> it, the ages, ages range from uh, eight to almost 17. So there's a big, a big spread there. Um, but yeah. So my advice for anybody trying to work from kids with kids at home um, is just, Again, have grace for yourself and your kids. They are kids. They don't really, I mean, once they get to a certain age, they understand. But if they're little, little kids, they don't really understand that we're super busy and can't pay attention to them. So I've always, when my kids were little, I always just told people in meetings, you know, if my kids walk in the room, I'm really sorry. They probably might have a question. I might have to interrupt the meeting for five minutes or for two minutes, but I'll, I'll be focused and attentive as, as long as I can. Um, so being able to be open and respectful to other people's situations too, because we're all kind of in this situation together. So everybody's trying to learn how to work from home with kids. Um, another thing is knowing when the kids are the most needing of your time and blocking that time off in your calendar to be with them and be focused on them because, uh, part of what I used to do was I used to actually get up before my kids got up and do work early in the morning and then focus on them for breakfast and get you know some schoolwork done and do that kind of thing. And then once they were kind of relaxed in the afternoon and they had had lunch and 
had their snack and whatever, then I would sit back down and have two to three hours to work again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that just, sounds... yeah, pay, paying attention to when your kids need you most, scheduling your time kind of around that as mm -hmm. much as possible. Oh, I yeah. had a busy box too for my kids, which was really cool. So when they were really little, um, before they were in school, I had this box full of toys that they only got to see when I was busy, when I had to sit at the computer and do something for an hour. And it was filled with toys and games and coloring books and Lego and just special things that they only got at that point in time. And they just thought it was the best thing in the world. So every month or so I would change out the toys in it. So they got brand new toys and they were literally just dollar store toys, but it was amazing for them because it gave them something to do that they didn't get to do all the time. And it was good for me because they were focused on that. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a good distraction. I have friends that uh, I rock climb with and uh, they bring iPads for the kids and only let the kids on the iPads when they're there. So the kids oh. are just glued and completely, completely distracted <laughs> after they get tired of climbing. So it's good. Yeah, that's great. So have you seen a change in what your clients are asking for from uh, their virtual assistants right now? Yeah, a lot of what we've been doing, like I said earlier, was um, setting up online programs right now. A lot of clients who hadn't ever planned on having an online program are now um, really working hard towards building one out so that they can they can get out there to more people and versus having to go out. So we've had a couple clients who came to us and were just like, hey, we need to get this done right now. Um, and then again, a lot of our clients who have had to kind of step back and stop using our services or cut down on our services are generally the ones that have to meet in person. Um, so we've, we've kind of changed how we've worked with them to doing more uh, client care, you know, follow ups on clients to see how they were from their last appointments, that kind of thing. So it's changed, it's changed actually quite a bit how we do things. Um, just to go a little bit, a little bit darker here, obviously you work with a bunch of different small businesses. Uh, are you concerned about the impact that this is going to have on a, a lot of those small businesses long term? Yeah, it is actually really concerning. Um, it's kind of scary to think that some of the businesses that we're currently working with, if this continues much longer, they, they might not be able to survive. Um, so we're, we're just trying to make sure that we're helping them as much as we possibly can to continue to thrive even in this economy, um, coming up with new ways of getting their product out there or getting their voice out there, that kind of thing. But yeah, it's, it's a terrifying reality that there are going to be a lot of small businesses that just aren't going to open up again. Mm -hmm. So what's been your biggest challenge in the last two months through all of this? <laughs> Besides keeping kids entertained and homeschooling. <laughs> um, uh, business wise, I would say trying to juggle more, um, we're kind of learning on the fly for some things because, uh, you know, we weren't sales funnel experts before, but we're becoming sales funnel experts because we're trying to ensure that our clients' are, needs are met or we're finding people who are sales funnels experts. So just a lot of working um, to, to help people. And so I think the biggest challenge is just trying to find where we, where we can help them and then find the people who can help them where we can't. And... Um, Sometimes that's difficult because, like I said, a lot of the businesses that we had been talking to before are now kind of like, yeah, well, we can't do anything right now. We're on hold here or we're doing that or we're cut down on staff. And so getting getting information back and forth is difficult, too. Yeah, I found that um, to be an issue quite a bit in the last in the last couple months as well. Yeah. Great. Well, do you have any final notes or anything you'd like to close with before you wrap up here? Um. No, I just want to thank you for the opportunity to talk to people. And if anybody has any questions about how to work from home or any um, ways of communicating virtually, I'm always available. Awesome. And uh, what's your website for the, the people watching? Oh, sorry. www.rocksolidadministration.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time and uh, your insight into working from home, especially with kids. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you.